Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Twilio service with the Quantum System. Twilio is an online service that allows you to send automated text messages to any phone in the world. What you're going to need is a Quantum server, a Twilio account, and a phone to receive text messages on. So let's get started. You're going to want to navigate to the home screen of your server, server and go to the Libraries tab. From here, download the Twilio service object and then navigate to the Services tab on the left side of the screen. Now, hit Start under the Actions panel and you're going to need to gather your account SID and your authorization token from your Twilio account. Once you're at the dashboard page on your Twilio account, go ahead and copy your account SID and input it into its corresponding form. Then copy your authorization token and enter it into its corresponding form. Hit next. And now you're gonna to need to set up the from telephone number. This is the telephone number that your Twilio account is paired to. It's of paramount importance to ensure that you match the numbers correctly. Once you've input that number, hit activate and your Twilio service should run. Next, we'll build an application that utilizes the Twilio service. So once you're at your application builder, go ahead and hit create new and you'll create a new app named Twilio. Now we can drag the Twilio service object onto the canvas. We'll name this object Twilio. So the way the Twilio service object works is you send in an SMS message to the SMS message string port and a telephone number to the telephone number port. The SMS message port is set to trigger so that once the Twilio service object receives a new message, it will send that message to the specified telephone number. In its default configuration, if you send a phone number to the phone number port, the Twilio service object will not be triggered. It will only be triggered via the SMS message port by default settings. This can all be changed as well. So once you have your Twilio service object on the screen, go ahead and drag a button interface object and an input number interface object onto the canvas. We'll name the input number object phone number and we'll name it Label it accordingly. Go ahead and save the properties, and then we can move on to the button object. We'll name this one button. Now drag a static string and a static number object onto the canvas. The static number object will be used to store our phone number, as well as the set, and the static string object will be used to store the message we want to send to our phone. We'll drag a node from the button object state out port to the static string trigger import. And we'll set the string of the static string object to hello exclamation. Then we'll drag a node from the string out port to the SMS message import on the Twilio service object. So basically, once we hit the button, a string will be sent from the static string port to the Twilio service object. And once that string is received by the service object, a text message will be sent to our phone. Now we just need to set up the sequence for the two phone number. So from the input number interface object, drag a node to the value import on the phone number object. And be sure to set the value import to trigger under the properties panel. And be sure to save the properties, otherwise your changes will not be saved. Now from the static number object, drag a node from the value out port to the telephone number import on the Twilio service object. Once you've made that connection, the application is finished. You can go ahead and save that app, and now we'll navigate back to the Application Builder page. 
here we have our Twilio service app. Go ahead and hit play and then hit save plus run. So here at our studio, we have horrendously terrible cell phone reception. And so the Twilio service does not actually work here. So we're gonna have to continue this video back at our workshop where we receive a bit better reception. See you over there. All right, so we're back at the workshop and we have our Twilio application running. So now we're gonna go over to our dashboard. You'll see the Twilio card listed there. Go ahead, click on that. We've already input our phone number. So now once we hit this button, we should momentarily receive a text from Twilio. And there we go. So that's how you set up and interface with the Twilio service on the quantum system. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.